One of the more underused, underutilized, underrated um, features or actually functions of Premiere Pro is the project manager feature. Um, and let me explain kind of what it is and, and why we would, we would use it instead of exporting just a straight up video file. Well, if I'm just trying to upload something to Vimeo or YouTube or wherever, I would just export, right? And I have a video um, talking about all the different export settings I use and what I think is important to consider with that. Um, the link for that is in the description. But sometimes you need to send something to... Um, Maybe it's a coworker. Maybe it's a client that wants all the you know project and, and raw footage files. And um, there's a number of cases where they actually you kind of have to um, group everything together because we know Premiere Pro, different from like uh, Photoshop, for example, it Premiere Pro is linking. It's not actually pulling in these video files into the project. It's linking to those video files. And so um, sometimes compiling all those, and especially if you have, you know, things on different hard drives and one's on an external hard drive, one's on your internal hard drive and different folders, different places, sometimes it's hard to compile it all. But Premiere Pro makes it really easy. File, project manager, okay? So many people don't even know about this, um, but we're gonna talk about it today. Um, so I just finished this video, as you can see behind here, it's done. Seasons, it's a it's a um, kind of a short film thing that I made with anamorphic footage, looks great. Uh, I'll put a link to the, um, <laughs> to, so you can watch that if you want. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the project manager. And in this case, uh, it's everything that I want to use and send to this um, phantom client is in this one sequence. Now, if I had a number of sequences and I wanted to send everything, then I would check these other ones. Um, these are just kind of um, accessory, you know, video or, or sequences that I made to kind of promote this thing. Uh, all I want is this main video file. And, and so when we look down below here, we see resulting project. Well, I wanna collect files and copy to a new location. Um, we're gonna send all of those files to wherever you want. Um, you could put this on a hard drive. You could put it, I mean, there's there's a lot of places you could put this. Um, and it will compile all, everything, like I said, audio, video, any file that is in this sequence, it's going to grab. Um, if you're curious of, you know, sometimes if you're using maybe a ton of raw footage, and let's say there's a bunch of, you know, QuickTime or, um, our 3D files, like that might be a very big project. So you can actually click calculate and this will tell you how big it's gonna be. In my case, it's not very big at all. Um, you know, just a little under two gigabytes. Um, I was editing with uh, MP4 files, so they're all pretty small. Um, so that's what we're gonna do there. And then under options, this would be where, um, Let's say you have maybe a bunch of uh, file, uh, video files that you did not use in this sequence. Well, this is where you would make that selection. So I'm gonna say, yes, let's exclude. Anything that I didn't use, let's exclude it. Only send them things that I can see in the sequence down here. Um, we might as well include the audio conform files, um, preview files, we might as well and rename media files to match clip names. That's like if, if you'd renamed, um, I don't generally do that, but if you rename um, these uh, video files down here, you could, um, it would actually rename kind of the, the source files. Um, so this part, I, I'll leave it checked or unchecked. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna do anything. Um, and then all you do is just press okay and copy season. This is, this is the folder where everything that, um, everything that's included in that sequence is all right here. And so if I wanted to send this, I mean, I could send this as is, like you can also always, you know, uh, right click, compress and put in a zip file. Um, super, super useful function of Premiere Pro that's overlooked. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. If you think I missed something also, always let me know. And thanks for watching guys.